Hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. We're gonna be creating that you just saw on my Premiere screen, of course. As you know, the Premiere is not for motion graphics, basically. That's why we have After Effects. So I decided to come with this. I was wondering how to recreate this only in Premiere. As you know, in After Effects, after they came out with the option with Essential Graphics, a nice option, we can create those nice motion graphics templates for Premiere and After Effects, of course gives our option but in After Effects we can just add a mask and then right click and pre-compose you know as a composition in Premiere also we got the option to nest the camp will be the same like in After Effects but if we nest the camp in Premiere we won't be able to export as a motion graphics template so that's what I was wondering how to add a mask and have this effect the text in between the frame as you see this side we got the text on the front and this side we got the text on the back of the frame. That's what I decide to show you guys because it's kind of like easy, but it's just be a little creative and just think the way we can create this. So let me go ahead and show you and see how we can create this effect. So let me hit the P on the keyboard and we're gonna create a triangle stroke. And there we have this. So let me go and align to the center. And let me go and make sure this is down here. So let me uncheck this. Let me just pull this. And this is what we have right now. So we're gonna go and start with animation. So let me make sure fit and comp go one second long. I like doing one second. If you want, you can go two, three seconds. It's up to you. So let me go ahead on position. We're gonna go and add a keyframe. Then we're gonna go and make sure go at the beginning and we're gonna go and pull out you know just to the right all the way out right there if we play this is what we have then we're gonna go and leave two more seconds plus one will be three seconds two seconds just enough to read and then we're gonna go and add a keyframe then we're gonna go one more second it will be four seconds in this case and then we're gonna go and pull this to the left of course and if we play this is what we have and then, as you guess, I like the smoothie animation, so we're gonna go and select this, drop this down first, and we're gonna go and select this first, and let me just smooth this animation, you know, and the same over here. If we close and press enter to see, and this is what we have. Then, what else we need to do is go ahead and make sure this is 100, and also this is on two seconds, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a mask to this shape. So let me go, make sure selected, we're gonna go and add a mask and make sure it's zero uh, feather, of course the mask. So let me go ahead and pull this to the center right there. And then we're gonna go, make sure, let me pull this and let me go and click this corner and holding our shift, we're gonna click up here as well and then release the shift and we're gonna go and click first down here again and then you know holding down shift again and we're gonna go just and pull out cool if we play this is what we have basically it's cut so what we're gonna do now is go and make sure I fit and comp and we're gonna go into the essential graphic panel we're gonna go and duplicate this and also we're gonna go and rename right and left once we have this we're gonna go and make sure the left is selected let me close over here everything let me just make sure the left is selected and go and just invert the mask. And this is what we have right now. You see, so we got both sides and you know, the animation as well. So let me go ahead and create the text. So let me go 100%, make sure, you know, just to have a nice view. And we're gonna hit the text tool and we're gonna type whatever you want. And then also we're gonna go and align to center, maybe a little bit down. So we're gonna just move the position. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and do the same animation that we did with the frame or the shape. So let me go one second long, and then we're gonna go and add a keyframe. So let me just close everything here. Make sure this text is selected, and we're gonna go add a keyframe in the position. Then we're gonna go at the zero frame, and we're gonna go and pull to the left so it make sure it's out of the screen so let me go and make sure it's out of the screen of course right there and then we're gonna go and leave two more seconds plus one will be three so we're gonna go and add a keyframe you know just hit this 
eyeball and then we're going to go and one more second will be four of course and then we're going to go make sure let me just fit this and comes and we're going to go and pull to the right and as you guess we're going to go and smooth the animation all right if we play so this is what we will have nice we got two seconds to read and then goes out beautiful so how did it get the effect so let me go 100 percent and also we're going to go make sure it's in two seconds so what we're going to do is go ahead and put this text in between those shapes and you will see as you see this left side we got the text on the front and the right side we got the text on the back that's where we get the, the, the uh, effect nice you see and then after you finish so you can just go ahead and click right click i mean and then just export as a motion templates for premiere you know and then we can just you know save in the local drive so you can share with your friends and then just hit ok and that's the way uh, we create this motion template as you see easy and uh, you know uh, just being creative and then what else we need to go and make sure we're gonna show you how to create the other one that you saw in the preview so let me go ahead and pick the pen tool and we're gonna go make sure maybe four squares so let me hold it on shift you know just to have a nice um a straight line and then we're gonna go right here and also make sure you know is deselected because we do it in this so make sure it's selected in the timeline and then we're gonna go again for squares as i said hold it on shift you know just to have a straight lines and this is what we have and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and make sure the move tool is selected and we're going to go and move this anchor point to the center and then what else we need to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate right click you know here in the central graphic panel duplicate and we're going to rename right and left all right once we have this we're going to go and pick the left shape and we're going to rotate this 180 degree and this is what we have now so let me just move this at the beginning and then we're going to go ahead and start the animation so let me go before doing anything else let me go ahead and make sure we're going to go and close this and make sure the left is selected and we're going to go and add a mask so let me go and add a mask so let me just make sure it's zero and then we're gonna go and move to the left you know just to have in the center right there and then we're gonna go and select this mask and right click copy we're gonna go in this make sure the right is selected and we're gonna go make sure you see over here selected and we're gonna just command small v to paste and this is what we have so we're gonna go and say the mask inverter and this is what we have so what we're gonna do go one second long and we're gonna go in uh, position so we're gonna go and add a keyframe both of them so let me just go and you know this is the left so let me go to the right as well so let me go and add a keyframe and then we're gonna go and zero frame of course and then we're gonna go make sure the left we will have to pull to the right so make sure it's selected and we're gonna just pull to the right till this appears and also we're gonna go and do the same with the right in this case we have to pull this to the left so let me just go and just till this appears and you know so if we play this is what we will have nice and then what else we need to do is just smooth the animation so let me just collapse this just pull this right actually we go and we're doing wrong so let me just make sure you know sometimes it doesn't work so i, I like to do auto bezier and then we're gonna go and pull like this just to have a nice animation you know let me do the same this so if we close this and play all right and the last thing we need to do the text so make sure to select it pick the text tool and type whatever you want and so you know you can uh, you know just move right there and then we can just align a little bit down and then what else we need to do is make sure go one second long remember the stroke animation or the shapes in uh, one second so we're gonna go one second and then what else we need to do is add on one more second so it will be two 
and then what else we need to do is just make sure to select it and also the text so we're going to go ahead and what is in here let me close everything we're going to go and add a keyframe on the position and then we're going to go back to one second remember and then we're going to go and pull this to the left right there so we will have this basically and then what else we need to do is smooth out the animation you know just to have a nice animation so let me just pull those handles okay and then we're gonna go and make sure selected we're gonna go and add um you know a mask so let me make sure it's zero percent or zero further and let me just move right there on the top of the the side of the frame of course if we play so you won't see the text the other side nice and that's the way we create this so the last thing we need to do is make sure the move tool is selected we need to go ahead and make sure this is on the in between of course the right and left but we still kind of like we are not getting the effect that we're looking for so what I have to do is just move this on the top and this we can we gonna move in the center again so if we play this is what we will have so as you see the text is coming from inside of this side in the front of, of course in the back of this frame of course if we see at the right side we got on the front of the uh, the stroke or this frame I don't know if I said the uh, correct way as I said let me just go ahead and re mine again so uh, as you see at the left side we got the stroke or the frame on the front and so on the right side we got the stroke uh, you know and the back of the text and that's what we're looking for so let me just play and just you know that's the effect we'll we'll getting okay as you know so what i'm doing this i think this is the fourth part is because we have to end up with this uh full project so make sure the next tutorial will be just you know uh putting all the parts together the links will be in the description of first second and the third and fourth part so make sure to keep in tune and watch of course the tutorials and also if you are lazy like me you can just go ahead and download those uh, motion templates on my website the link of course will be in the description and also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channels english and spanish and also give us a like on facebook and tweet on twitter and make sure any comment just drop off on the comment section and so make sure as you know so after you finish you can just right click and export as a motion graphic template and you can use it in many uh, projects or you can share with your friends of course on the internet so make sure to check out all the tutorials and see you next time